Hello everyone and welcome to chemistry class. Our topic for today is introduction to chemistry, atomic molecules, physical changes and chemical changes. Alright, so let's start. What is matter? Well, before we can start anything that pertains to um, atomic molecules, we have to know what matter is. Matter is made up of discrete particles, the main ones being atoms, molecules, and ions and the general definition of matter that we all know is that matter is anything that has mass and occupies space by this definition we see that everything in the universe is made up of matter okay so everything is made up of matter even the air water anything that has mass and is occupying space even we as humans we are matter now move to atom an atom is the smallest part of an element that can ever exist and still possess the chemical properties of that element. The atom is considered to be the basic unit of simple substances or elements. Also move to molecules. Most atoms actually cannot exist alone. They generally bond with other atoms to form molecules. Molecules may be made up of atoms of the same element or of different elements. I have an I have an example or I have an illustration to that statement. We said molecules may be made up of atoms of the same element. So we have two atoms of chlorine. That's chlorine chlorine, giving us a molecule of chlorine. So say chlorine is the atomic Cl2. We can also have sodium and chlorine reacted together to give us sodium chloride. So, a molecule can be made up of atoms of the same element or of different elements. A molecule is the smallest particle of a substance that can normally exist alone and still retain the chemical properties of that substance, be it an atom or a compound. Alright, with that said, let's move to atomicity of elements. What is atomicity of elements? Hmm? It is referred to as the number of atoms in each molecule of an element. This number is usually small. Most gaseous elements like chlorine and oxygen are diatomic. Actually, all gaseous elements are diatomic. Any element that is diatomic, uh, um, most gases are actually diatomic, ranging from the hydrogen gas, oxygen gas, chlorine gas, um, and so on and so forth. They're always they're atomic. They do not exist as one atom. Alright, so I have some elements to show you example. We have neon. Neon is a stable element anyway. So and the formula of the it's it's one molecule. N E the atomicity is one. We have argon, A R atomicity is one. Now we have hydrogen. And this is just one molecule of hydrogen, but it has two atoms of hydrogen react. Note, it is one molecule of hydrogen. Hmm? In chemistry, when you want to denote molecule, the number of molecule that is written, you write it in front of the element. But if you want to show atom, you write it as a subscript to the element. So look at that too. So we have two atoms. There's no number in front of the hydrogen as the H, so the molecule is one. Ozone. O3. This is three atoms of oxygen reacting together. Atomicity is three, and this is one molecule of ozone. Phosphorus P4. Atomicity is four. Sulfur S8. Atomicity is eight. Nitrogen gas N2. Atomicity is two. Okay, so I hope you understand that. So you can actually generate, or you can actually get atomicity of the first twenty or thirty elements yourself, in as much as you know the. Um, symbol of the element. Alright, so let's move to physical and chemical changes. Matter undergoes changes. These changes may be temporary and easily reversible or they may be permanent and very difficult to reverse. We have two types of change. We have the physical change and the chemical change. What is a physical change? A physical change is one which is easily reversed and in which no new substances are formed. Now, this one can be easily reversed because no new substances are formed. A change in the state of what just happens in um, physical changes is just a change in the state of the substance that it could move from solid to liquid or to gaseous state. 
Now, the dissol- example is the dissolution of common salt in water. This is a physical change because no new substance is actually formed and the salt can be easily recovered from the ex- from the solution. So, if you have salt and water mixing it together to provide salt solution, this salt solution can also undergo evaporation to give us salt differently and water. Another example is um, um, water. Let's use water as an example as it's changing from one state to another. If you have ice, a um, yes, a water that has been kept in the freezer, it is in a solid state. If you leave it out in room temperature to dissolve, it changes to liquid water. That it has changed state to liquid. Now this liquid can further undergo evaporation. When you boil, you see some um, gases escaping as steam. But when there's a lid on the pot used they would there would be all those water droplets that form on top of the lid see at the end of the day no new substance is formed it's still everything is still water but existing as different um different in different states okay in dif- all right so let's look at more examples of um physical changes we have um we have changes in the state of matter such as melting of solids to liquid, I've explained that, and then the separation of mixtures by evaporation, distillation, and fractionalized and fractional distillation. So move to chemical change. What is a chemical change? This is one which is not easily reversed and in which new substances are formed. Example is a piece of firewood that burns with flame, giving out heat and light. As it burns, the wood slowly disappears into gas until little ash is left. Now this is a chemical change as we can know reverse the process to get back the firewood. So burning of substance is a chemical change. Burning of substance can also be called combustion reaction in chemistry. This one in each substance is formed and it cannot be reversed. More examples of chemical change are as well as the dissolution of metals and limestone in acid, the rusting of iron that's oxidation process and the formation and decay of substance so in summary an atom is the smallest particle of an element which can take part in chemical reaction the number of atoms in a single molecule of an element is known as atomicity a molecule is the smallest particle of, of a substance that can normally exist alone and still retain the chemical properties of that substance while matter is anything that has space and occupies weight matter is built up of three elementary particles, atoms, molecules, and ion. And a physical change is one that is easily reversed and in which no new substances are formed. Please take note, no new substances are formed in physical change. While a chemical change, new substances are formed, but it cannot be re- easily reversed. Thank you for today's class. I hope you learned something new. I have listed out some assignments for you and I hope to get your feedback. <music> Oh,